1997, Tiger Woods won his first Masters tournament, becoming the first black golfer to win a Masters. But that wasn't the history that many remember. The history itself involved Fuzzy Zeller, a golfer who has won the Masters in previous years, one of them being in his first tournament that he ever did. Impressive. The uh, little boy's uh, driving it well, he's putting well, he's, he's doing everything it takes to win. So you know what you guys do when he gets in here? Pat him on the back, say congratulations, enjoy it, and tell him not to serve fried chicken next year. Got it. Right. Seller didn't have to say a racial slur or say much of anything in this interview. However, the stereotype that he placed in the interview sent shockwaves throughout the world. This was a hard one to trace down and understand how fried chicken, America's favorite food, was seen as a stereotype directed solely at African Americans. To understand a bit deeper, we have to go back to the most problematic movie to ever exist, D.W. Griffin's Birth of a Nation. In the scene, where Congress is led mostly by African Americans, there are scenes where blacks are unruly, drinking, taking off their shoes, and in a very telling instance, eating fried chicken while presumably talking to the members of Congress. Many credit this movie to create many stereotypes, some that we discuss much later in this series. In 1925, Maxim Lester Graham opened a chicken restaurant in Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Spokane, Washington, and Salt Lake City called Coon Chicken Inn. It was a restaurant that focused heavily on the black menstrual industry, and in order to go into the restaurant, you had to enter through the mouth of a black man. Down home, At the Coon man. Chicken Inn, we aim to please the best 100% mammy-made family-style meals. You can taste the love. I like the white meats. I'm a press man. We, we just, just love, love it here. here. You'll just keep hollering, gal, fetch me some more. Look for that wide mouth coon near you. Coon chicken. Many restaurants lean into the fried chicken stereotype towards African Americans. Well, you're stuck here. Where is here? This is Lake Edna. Hammer. That's that new KFC honey barbecue chicken. Fried chicken. Something new in Lake Edna or your neck of the woods. That's spicy chicken. Celebrate 88 at Popeyes. Till January 9th, 1988, you can get two pieces of spicy, delicious Popeyes chicken and a biscuit for just 88 cents when you buy a medium soft drink. Burger King. Oh, uh, what's in those new chicken snack wraps? What's in the new what's chicken snack? What's in the new snack? chicken wraps? Mary? Crispy chicken, fresh lettuce, three cheeses, fresh rice. Popeye spokeswoman, Annie, can be seen by many as a modern mammy character right down to her speech and mannerisms. Bob, Louisiana. Probably my cooking. I love the flavors that come out of here. Have you tasted my cooking? Have you tasted Popeye's sweet beef butterfly shrimp? They start out- Even though fried chicken is universally loved and enjoyed by many, it can easily be seen as a food associated with African Americans and not. Keep in mind that the next time that you are enjoying that amazing Nashville hot chicken, that even though everyone enjoys that food, it has a very disturbing history. The only reason these things are even an issue is because nobody knows what white people eat. You've been very good at keeping that shit a secret amongst yourselves. <laughs> 